What's going on guys? So I am very, very excited to finally have gotten a chance to try Zippo's Butane inserts. So here it is right here. All right, they have three different models. Uh, they have one model um, that has a double flame, which is the one I end up getting. They have a, a second model that has a single jet flame, and then they have a third model, which has that kind of plasma beam, which is just electric. It's something you could recharge. Um, I noticed, I got this on uh, Amazon, and I noticed that the electric one is no longer there. I don't know if they're just out of sock, you know, sold out. I don't really know, but I couldn't find it anymore uh, to reference prices. I want to say that that one was probably around $12 or $13. The uh, single jet flame version is $12, and the one that I got, I paid $14 and change for the double jet. Now, I will show you that it's already in the Zippo, because I've been using it and testing it. So that's what it looks like right there. So anyway, here is the insert. This is what it looks like. I did say the box real quick, because I want to show you how it comes, just like if you're buying a regular Zippo lighter. Obviously, down here is going to tell you what it is. All right, and you're presented with this little banner that went across the insert. It says, uh, adjustable flame height. Fits all regular Zippo lighter cases and refillable with butane fuel. All right, and again on the side here shows which model. This is the double torch. So here's how the insert looks. All right, you can see the double flame on top, double jets anyway. All right, it does have, of course, the little cam here. All right, and that's what obviously keeps the lid closed and or open when you're using it. So here's the information on the insert. You have the Zippo logo on top. It says Zippo Manufacturing Company, Bradford, PA, USA. On the left it says Z8B19, and on the right is your date code, G19. All right, so G represents the month of the year, which is the seventh letter of the alphabet, so it's July 2019 is when this particular one was made. All right, in the back here it says, warning, keep out of the reach of children. Uh, ignite away from face and clothing. Be sure flame is out after use, contains flammable gas under pressure, and do not keep lit for more than 10 seconds. All right, it's interesting that they mentioned that, not to keep it lit for too long. All right, and of course, this is mimicking, you know, the look of a regular insert. This was the original insert for this particular case. So just in comparison, right, obviously they, you know, designed it to look like a regular insert. But you have the convenience of having a push button, you know, electric ignition butane insert. It's very cool. Now on the bottom here, all right, you see we have our filling port that's where you're going to put your nozzle for your butane gas fluid and just like most butane lighters we have the adjustable screw here for the flame all this is doing is opening or closing that valve allowing more or less fuel to come out so if you rotate this towards the plus sign all right which would be counterclockwise you're going to have a larger flame it's going to use more fuel for that uh, or if you rotate this clockwise towards the minus sign you're going to have a lower flame but it's going to conserve more fuel so if you're not using this, you know, too often, you can raise the flame, you know, really high and a really cool big flame and stuff. But let's say you're a cigarette smoker and you're opening this, you know, 20, 30, 40 times a day, um, you know, you might want to conserve the fuel and have the flame as low as possible so it lasts longer. Uh, the fitment in the case is perfect. I did try this on three different cases. It's all the same. You can see this little raised bar that's on the front here as well as the back. That's what's creating the pressure. All right, so that's rubbing on both sides of the case. So it's a nice firm fit. It's not going to accidentally fall out at all. All right, and again, the hinge works exactly the same with that cam. So it stays open when you want to use it and close when you don't want to use it. What is really nice about this design is when you push the button, if I, you know, be quiet for a second, you can hear this. The fuel only starts to come out as you depress that button. So fuel is coming out and then all the way down when you click it, it sparks. All right, and lights those uh, jets. Uh, some of the other um, designs out there, once you open this up, okay, once the uh, cam here is pushed down, that automatically lets the fuel out. So that means the second you open the lid, you're losing that fuel, all right? And then obviously when you light it, it's gonna light up. But even when you let go of it, or you're done using it, it's still gonna be using that fuel. Zippo did a very good design here having the button you know, actually release that fuel that's inside. All right, so you're conserving all the fuel. In other words, you can keep this open, you know, on a table and you don't have to worry about it going uh, dry on you. Very, very cool, simple design. All right, works like a lot of different butane lighters. This one just happens to be Zippo brand. My initial impressions are very, very good. All right, I've used uh, pretty much all of the aftermarket inserts out there. 
All right, there's ones from uh, Thunderbird, which is about the same price. All right, you can find them for about $15 or so. Um, Z Plus is another one. Those are usually cheaper, like $11 or $12. Uh, I found that the Vector Thunderbirds were a little bit better than the Z Plus ones. I want to say I've done videos on this in the past, like years ago. Uh, I'd have to reference them, but you know, there's a ton of them. And there's also no name ones that could be, you know, possibly even cheaper than that. But everyone was very excited to hear that Zippo came out with their own because the assumption there obviously is that they're going to be the most reliable. So this is of course just my first impressions after a long you know, period of use. I'll revisit it and talk about it, maybe do a full review. Um, but you know, so far it seems reliable. Every time I click that button, you know, it turns on. So obviously you would assume you know, Zippo would make a superior insert. Now the other ones work. Like I said, uh, between all the other options, I've always liked the Thunderbird the most. It seemed to be the most reliable. And some of these other companies do offer uh, different types of uh, flame patterns. Like, you know, some of them have a soft flame. Obviously, Zippo, like I said, right now only has the double jet, the single jet, or that electric plasma beam or whatever. I would love to see Zippo come out with a soft flame version, which I have to assume they're eventually going to do. Um, you know, because obviously a lot of people like that soft flame as opposed to the, uh, you know, little butane jet flames. But uh, overall, I love it. I think it's really cool. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely jump on it while you can. So for anyone out there who's had these already and been using it since they've been released, feel free to, uh, you know, post your comments below and tell everyone what you think of it long term. Uh, but, you know, my initial impressions are very good. I'm very excited about it. So hopefully this one works out. I'll go through a bunch of cycles. I'll use it until the, you know, fuel's empty and refill it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the filling port was very, very easy to use. All right. Sometimes with these uh, butane lighters, um, you know, when you're filling them up, you can see it's pretty snug in here. So it's not going to fall out at all. But a lot of times when you're filling up butane lighters, depending on how cheap or expensive they are, when you put that nozzle in there, uh, sometimes it doesn't want to make a perfect seal and it goes tss, and it shoots the, the butane fluid everywhere and it's a real pain. This one was uh, very snug. Initial impressions, very good on the Zippo insert. Very excited about it. So for all the people that love carrying your Zippos, but you're tired of the smell or going to light it and it's empty, you know, the inserts are always a very good option, but now you actually have Zippo making them. So even cooler. So that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.